on the phone in a way that they think somebody else is going to read it. So narcissist. Yo, so I dated this girl that was a narcissist, and then I found out my mom was a narcissist. It was like a you know domino effect. But uh, it's so funny because thinking back on it now, that's so true. They talk as if um, now in the moment you don't realize this, but when you look back, you know they talk as if as if they don't really know you like that. If they're not comfortable and kind of like he said, like they trying to be careful because somebody else might be seeing it but it's probably because internally they know who they are they know you don't know who they are but they don't want no type of track record of somebody screenshot a message or whatever the case may be i can tell like i can tell that she was very strategic in how she was operating and she also didn't like to talk on the phone and when she texted me it was like it was weird it was exactly what he's saying like like almost like she was a afraid and every now looking back it, you can tell that she was like always up to something but you know narcissists have the greatest rebuttals so her response was always like she would have an excuse for why she was operating weird and they they operate so like sneaky that you feel like something is off but they will reaffirm that nothing is wrong verbally, but you still have that feeling like, yo, some just feel weird, but they so manipulative <laughs> and they can gaslight you so well. They've been doing it since they were so little that they really be getting you for real. Let alone if you like me and you grew up with the narcissistic mother. So like I dated one and it was like a trauma bond, if y'all know what that is. And it was like, it's your norm. So like when they get you, if it's a trauma bond for you, it's almost like you kind of used to it, like internally, you're like, you haven't worked on yourself or healed or anything like that. So like, it's just like your norm for it. So it's funny, like, it's like, it's like a show that they put on in a sense. It's like a show, but you're in the show and you don't realize that you're on TV. You know what I'm saying? But it was like, um, how I got discarded was simple as, I started doing research online based off of the stuff she was doing and somebody on Reddit was like, run. If you have somebody doing X, Y, and Z, whatever I've said, they were like, run. And um, I'm like, what? So I started looking at it, it was like Narciss narcissism, blah, 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 X, Y, and Z. And I felt this guy video and he was like, yeah, you know, if you date somebody like this, they probably narcissist, blah, blah, blah. So not thinking, I screenshotted some of what I learned online and I copied, um, I think I screen recorded some of the video that I was watching and stuff like that. And I sent her all the information. I was like, yo, why you treat me like X, Y, and Z? And she denied it, obviously. And then I, I sent her all this stuff. And then she straight up said, don't ever message me or my family ever again. And I was like, whoa, what the heck? Because I didn't know what narcissism was at the time. <laughs> I didn't know she was a narcissist. And at that time, I thought only men could be narcissists because how society was, you know what I'm saying? So, it was an interesting experience. I, I'm so glad I got out of that and I healed and I moved forward. You know what I'm saying? And it's been a while. It's been years. But when I seen this pop up on my timeline, I was just like, yo, that's funny because that's really how they be moving. You know what I mean? If you can relate, comment below.